Year's resolution is to actually post videos on here because I just feel like I abandoned my YouTube for months at a time. And I do actually film videos, I just never get around to editing them. Like I've got so many clips I filmed and I've put them onto my editing app and I just haven't edited them <laughs> and it's been months, like not even months. From last summer I have travel vlogs and I just haven't edited them. So I need to get better at that. Anyway, I have been asked a lot of times over on my TikTok to make a tutorial on my cotton trousers. I've been doing a lot of sewing recently and I've been doing like mini tutorials over there because I'm so bad at filming. Like I just forget that I'm filming and I forget what I'm doing and then I'm like, oh I finished the project and that's it and like I haven't filmed anything. So these are basically the trousers that I made. I made two pairs at the moment. Being five foot nine, I can never find trousers that are low waisted and are long. Any cotton trousers that I do have, like the ones I'm wearing, for example, I will show you. Which is, see, if I wore them like they were meant to be worn, the ones that I made are low waisted. The crotch is where it needs to be. I will demonstrate. So, these are the trousers that I made. Very low waisted. To start the project off, you're going to want to lay down your desired trousers over the fabric that you've chosen. Then the next step is to begin cutting the outline of the trousers and you do this all the way around each side so then you should end up with four separate pieces. I also like to label each side so I don't forget which is which because I didn't the first time and it got super confusing. Once you have your four separate sides, pin the left sides back and front pieces together inside out. Then once you've done that you do the exact same for the right side and always remember to leave space for the pockets which is just the bit at the top on the outside. I don't know about you, but I just love having candles on whenever I'm doing anything crafty. It just makes me feel really cozy and peaceful. And these candles are available on my website and I have a pomegranate candle coming very soon. So then the next step is to begin sewing the pin sides together. So remember to always leave the crotch area as we'll deal with that later and also the pocket space completely untouched. <laughs> After this step, I like to just turn them back inside out and check that all of the seams have sewed as they should and that there is no gaps. So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated but this is how you make the pockets. You will need four equal sized rectangles and then you get two of those rectangles and sew the two pieces together inside out. Then you sew along one of the sides like so. Remember to leave one side untouched because that's how you'll have access to the pocket. Once you've sewn your pockets together, it's now time to insert them into the space we left them earlier in the trousers. I like to just use pins to secure it into place to make sure that it doesn't move. And then you just sew it into place on both sides. Once you sew the pockets, in my opinion the hardest part is over and the next step is to place both of the legs together and start pinning them in the areas that you haven't sewed together yet. Caroline Jade from Phoenix said After I've done that at this stage, I like to try them on and see if everything looks exactly how I want it to. And then, if I am happy with everything, I then begin to sew the areas that I pinned previously. She claims that I never supported her.
extremely mad because everything that is wrong in the court when I have had zero. Great, it happened afterwards. My curls are good. You turn to people. Teresa did not throw a better party than me. Okay, we're getting close to finishing and it's now time to add the waistband. In order to do this, you have to cut a separate piece of fabric, which is the entire length of the waist, and then you put it together with the main body of the trousers, and then you sew it all together all the way around. The elastic that I use is one millimeter thick, however, you could use any thickness, it doesn't make too much of a difference. The general rule is to cut the elastic the exact size of the waist and minus four inches, and then it will give you that nice scrunched look, but still fit snugly but not too tight so i haven't currently gone over lock foot so i like to pin it all together and hide the frayed bits and then i sew it all together at the machine and when you are sewing elastic remember to pull and stretch as you go along and now it's time for my favorite step because it's literally so easy but it's time to add the waist tight again this is optional but i just think it really adds to the finished look so because the piece is really long, I like to just iron it into place because it makes it easier than pinning the entire piece. And then you sew all along the edge just to finish it up. And then I make it into a bow and then I can sew it onto the body of the trousers and I'm basically done. Again, my piece is only decorative because I already had the elastic and it was just for aesthetic reasons. So this is the finished result of the trousers. I'm gonna insert a little clip here. I just love them, I think they fit really well. They fit even better than the last pair that I made. So that's the end of the tutorial and I really hope that it was helpful. If you have any tips for how the tutorial could be easier to follow or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. <laughs> and currently I'm gonna be starting a new painting. I haven't painted in six months and I'm gonna make a painting vlog so I will see you in my next video